south side because we're finally looking at a drier stretch where we're not going to have to constantly been watching that radar app to see when these storms are going to pop up. We've got a dry day today. I do though want to start down in the Gulf of Mexico where we have been monitoring the remnants of what was once Hurricane Barrow, now a tropical storm with winds that are sustained around 60 miles per hour. Essentially this weekend quite a bit as it moved over the Yucatan Peninsula. Now it is back into very warm ocean waters where we are anticipating uh, this storm complex uh, reintensifying back into a category one storm over the next 24 to 48 hours. So here's the latest storm track as it's going to make its way towards southern Texas. This is going to be early in the morning hours on Monday as a cat one just to the south of Corpus Christi. Now these projections have been variable the past uh, several model runs here, but at this point as we track this out through about Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, the remnant low area of uh, pressure here that could bring some rain chances into southern Indiana. Looks like that would be the case as we get into Thursday. So we're going to watch those remnants. Does look like we could potentially get some rain out of that ongoing system down to our south. As far as what's going on though today and really into tomorrow, we're now on the backside of a cold front. So high pressure is building in. That's clearing our sky out. That does mean we're going to have quite a good setup for this weekend. Plenty of sunshine as we are awaiting the sun coming up at 624. Uh, just uh, about uh, 10 minutes or so away from that happening. We start off in the 60s, eventually warming back to the 70s by 11 o'clock today. And then as we get you into the afternoon, the fever going to be back uh, at Gamebridge today. Going to be a 1 o'clock tip off. We will be in the upper 70s at that point. Eventually, we are headed into the mid 80s for highs here in the Indy Metro, perhaps a degree or two cooler in some outlying locations. 80 or forecast tie up in Kokomo will go 79 in Richmond and 84 for a high in Bloomington later today. And then we'll take you into the evening tonight. Indians going to be back in action at the Vic. We've got fireworks again for tonight. 705 for that first pitch, by the way. We'll see mainly clear skies, plenty of sunshine as that sun goes down. Temperatures eventually drop back into the 70s, so really no complaints there. Now come tomorrow will be a little bit more of a hotter day. We're also going to start to notice the mugginess increasing a bit as we get into tomorrow. Not a bad start to the day in the 60s. Does look like most of us see daytime highs in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow. And as far as that muggy meter goes, not going to be overly oppressive in that miserable category, but we will be feeling more of that moisture content getting added into the air. Let's fast forward a bit as we get you into the middle part of the week. Does look like Monday night will have this weak area of low pressure move in. I believe most of this rain though stays at bay. We don't really see much out of that, especially Monday night as that frontal boundary moves through. As we get into Tuesday, though, into Wednesday, that's when that pattern is going to become more active. And of course, the remnants of that tropical system potentially bringing some rain in, mainly to areas south on Wednesday, and then perhaps some more scattered rain and storm activity on Thursday. Temperatures will be more seasonal, though. 92 the high on Monday will be the hottest in the extended forecast. We are back in the 80s for the rest of the week.